time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Friday, Focus Features is releasing their new film to POV, right? On, we're, we're getting all these releases to video because movie theaters aren't open. And it's called Irresistible. Irresist, resistible. Directed and written by Jon Stewart. So it has a political base. You know Jon Stewart in his daily show. I don't know if that was called the daily shows and all that. He was super political. So this movie has a political base. It starts out with like Steve Carell. He was actually on the campaign for the Hillary campaign against Trump, which lost like terribly. So it kind of begins with that whole thing, but then it brings it back to like time now. And he is looking for like the next campaign. Someone brings to his attention this, you know, scene that happened at one of the council meetings or anything in this little town called Deer Lincoln, where this guy really stood up, you know, for the people and all that kind of things. He was like a military person, so kind of a conservative person, but had like the values that you would kind of normally think of like liberal Democrat. So he goes to that town and convinces him to run for mayor. And he's gonna run his campaign. His, his campaign for mayor also stars Rose Byrne, who she kind of plays like the Republican version of him. She goes to the town and does the campaign for the other side, the, the other mayor side, the more Republican mayor side. So that whole thing with them two together and the chemistry together and just them cracking jokes back and forth, that really brings the comedy of this. The real message in this whole movie is, you know, how our political system, but mostly our like political campaigns need to change. All the money and time and effort it takes just to get reelected and how these, you know, uh, how these politicians go through all these hoops and put so much time and so much money and so much effort just for their election campaigns or their re-election campaigns that it takes away time, money and effort from the things that really matter, which should be, what they should be spending their time, money and on, and that is to help their community and the people that they serve. I really enjoyed the movie. I love my political movies. I really like to keep on top of all the politics and, and things going on in the world. So this was all, this was right up my alley. And let me tell you, the whole movie was great, but the ending, that little, they had a little, I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything, but the ending and just the twist and what, how it all plays out and everything, it will have your jaw dropped. I didn't see it coming. I bet, even though you know a little twist is coming at the end, and you won't see it coming like either. Like I said, Irresistible is coming out this Friday, POV. I highly suggest it. What else you gonna watch? There ain't nothing out right now. <laughs> Everyone needs to watch it. It has that kind of message that needs to get through everyone's head because we really need to change. So let me know what you think if you plan on watching it. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time.